church on this chilly Sunday morning. Uh, it's good to be here together. I'm Pastor Josh Kessner. I'm the campus pastor here at Unilu. And Pastor John Heiliger will be preaching for us a little later on. And then Vicar Courtney Noya will be helping out with worship today as well. But it's just good to be here together on this day. It's been a good weekend of celebration, too, in the area. Veterans Day on Friday, uh, Military Appreciation Day at the football game yesterday was a lot of fun. Um, so we, we thank any of you who have served in the military as well, if you are a veteran, and we are grateful for, for all the people in our lives. We'll have a prayer and the prayers of intercession a little later on, too. Um, feel free to offer up your own prayers during that time for any other intercessions as well. Uh, but just grateful to, to be in this place and to be supported by so many people around us. A couple of announcements for today. There's a low country boil after, well, not after worship. <laughs> it's this afternoon at 5 p.m. I guess that's this evening. Um, we're going to eat before it gets too dark so you can come. You can eat and get home before it gets too dark. 5 p.m. is when we'll eat. If you want to come and hang out by the pots next to the, uh, the pots while they're boiling, I'll be out there hanging out for just a few hours. So you can come a little early for that, too. Thanks to anybody who prepared a few desserts for the, tonight. But it will be a low country boil with shrimp, sausage, potatoes, corn, and onions, and then some delicious desserts as well. So it should be a good night. That's 5 p.m. right up here in the fellowship hall. Uh, and it's just come with your appetite, and then there's a little free will offering too, but just come, come ready to hang out and eat. Should be a good night. And the last thing is that we had a baptism last week, uh, Lydia Lee. And so there's a pig, what do you call that? A piggy bank <laughs> uh, in the narthex back there on the table. Uh, and it's a tradition of this church to just write a little affirming note to Lydia as she grows old. And if you want to stuff a few coins or maybe $100 bills into the <laughs> piggy bank, then uh, Lydia can do with that what she wants. She's very young. She might not be very responsible with money yet, but we'll see. But that's back there. Uh, so feel free during the coffee hour to do some of that. Are there any other announcements for the good of the congregation? All right, well, let's prepare our hearts for worship with the sound of this prelude.
please rise and face the baptismal font for a brief order of confession and forgiveness. Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God, who redeems us in Christ Jesus, who set, whose steadfast love endures forever. Amen. Let us confess our sin in the presence of God and of one another. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you and our neighbors. We have ignored voices that call for your justice. We have neglected actions that witness to your righteousness. We have spoken and acted in ways that disrupt your beloved community. We truly repent of things we have done and left undone. For the sake of Jesus Christ, have mercy on us. Restore our troubled spirits so that we may live in newness, follow the way of the Spirit, and build up the body of Christ. Amen. Rejoice and be glad. God hears the prayers of all who cry out and restores us to life through the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Therefore, I declare to you the forgiveness of all your sins in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all.
trust in you. Without you, nothing is strong, nothing is holy. Embrace us with your mercy, so that with you as our ruler and guide, we may live through what is temporary, without losing what is eternal. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. first reading is from the book of Malachi, the fourth chapter. See, the day is coming, burning like an oven, when all the arrogant and all evildoers will be stubble. The day that comes shall burn them up, says the Lord of hosts, so that it will leave them neither root nor branch. But for you who revere my name, the Son of Righteousness shall rise with healing in its wings. The word of the Lord. Please join the cantor in singing Psalm 98 responsibly. Sing a new song to the Lord who has done marvelous things, whose right hand and holy arm have won the victory. Second reading is from 2 Thessalonians, the third chapter. 
Now we command you, beloved, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, to keep away from believers who are living in idleness and not according to the tradition that they received from us. For you yourselves know how you ought to imitate us. We were not idle when we were with you, and we did not eat anyone's bread without paying for it. But with toil and labor we worked night and day so that we might not burden any of you. This was not because we do not have that right, but in order to give you an example to imitate. For even when we were with you, we gave you this command. Anyone unwilling to work should not eat. For we hear that some of you are living in idleness, mere busybodies, not doing any work. Now such persons we command and exhort in the Lord Jesus Christ to do their work quietly and to earn their own living. Brothers and sisters, do not be worry, weary in doing what is right. The word of the Lord. Thank you, God. of eternal life. Hallelujah. The Holy Gospel according to Luke, the 21st chapter. Glory to you, Lord. When some were speaking about the temple, how it was adorned with beautiful stones and gifts dedicated to God, and Jesus said, As for these things that you see, the days will come when not one stone will be left upon another all will be thrown down. They asked him, Teacher, when will this be, and what will be the sign that this is about to take place? And he said, Beware that you are not led astray, for many will come in my name and say, I am he, and the time is near. Do not go after them. When you hear of wars and insurrections, do not be terrified, for these things must take place first, but the end will not follow immediately. And he said to them, Nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. There will be great earthquakes and in various places famines and plagues. And there will be dreadful portents and great signs from heaven. But before all this occurs, they will arrest you and persecute you. They will hand you over to synagogues and prisons. And you will be brought before kings and governors because of my name. This will give you an opportunity to testify. So make up your minds not to prepare your defense in advance, for I will give you words and a wisdom that none of your opponents will be able to withstand or contradict. You will be betrayed even by parents and brothers, by relatives and friends, and they will put some of you to death. You will be hated by all because of my name, but not a hair of your head will perish. By your endurance, you will gain your souls. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. Please be seated. Any kids that want to come forward this time are invited to come forward. Thousands and dozens, if not hundreds. 
hundreds of new plants. So for me, nature teaches us this lesson all the time. There's great beauty in it, but even when things fade, there's new life hiding, just waiting to come up next spring. Jesus talked about in today's gospel that we never have to be afraid because in God,
Please stand as you are able as we share our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, and died in the Spirit. He rose him to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. United with your saints across time and place, we pray for our shared world. Reviving God, keep your church active in its mission and ministry. Encourage bishops, deacons, pastors, and lay leaders to risk boldly in their proclamation and fill them with wisdom and endurance for challenging times. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. Renewing God, as the Northern Hemisphere prepares for winter, make us mindful of the ordered beauty of your creation. Teach us to treasure cycles of rest and new life. Help us care for what you have made. Lord, in your mercy, receive our prayer. Loving God, accompany all who make sacrifices for the sake of others. Safeguard first responders and active duty military personnel. This weekend, we especially ask that you grant peace to veterans who have served, those among us, those we know and love, and those we do not know. Cover them with your care and heal any wounds in body, mind, or spirit. Lord, in your mercy, healing God, your people cry out to you, sustain doctors, nurses, and hospital personnel in their tireless work, uphold mental health professionals and those in their care. May the sun of righteousness rise on all who are sick. We especially pray for Ed, Ben, Karen, Jimmy, Alton, Scott, Greg, Gail, Pat, Jack, Rosalind, Tony, Randy, Joyce, Margaret, Mona, Jean, John, Chris, Michael, Donna, Ken, Woodrow, Manuel, Maida, John, Farrell, and any others that we name now, either silently or out loud. <clears throat> Lord, in your mercy, receive our prayer. Uniting God, unite this assembly in its shared mission and ministry for the sake of the gospel. Highlight ways we can better work together and give us patience to work through disagreement. Lord, in your mercy, receive our prayer. Other intercessions may be offered here silently or aloud. Consoling God, abide with all who grieve for loved ones who have died. Comfort us with the promise of resurrection and new life with you. Lord, in your mercy, accept these prayers, gracious God, and those known only to you, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The peace of Christ be with you always. Let's share that peace with one another now.
Amen. Let us pray. Blessed are you, maker of all things, as you have entrusted us with all that you have created. Now gather our gifts, nourish us with this sacrament, and send us to those who hunger and thirst for the sake of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. The Lord be with you. Up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is our duty and delight that we should everywhere and always offer thanks and praise to you, O God, through Jesus Christ, who calls us to follow his way of humble service and love. And so with the church on earth and all creation and the host of heaven, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. You are indeed holy, gracious, and merciful, God, and everything is filled with your glory. We give you thanks for your promise and presence, which have sustained the faithful in this and in every generation. And above all, we give thanks for Jesus, born of Mary, who in word and deed announced your gentle rule of justice, reconciliation, and peace for all. On the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread, gave thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. And again, after supper, he took the cup, gave thanks, and gave it for all to drink, saying, this cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. Remembering, therefore, his command to love one another, his life and his death, his resurrection and his ascension, we pray for his coming again, even as we cry. Amen, come, Lord Jesus. Amen, come, Lord Jesus. Send now, we pray, your Holy Spirit, that all of your promises may come to us and to all of your creation. 
Amen. Come, Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit. This we pray through Jesus Christ, our Savior and our friend. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We'll celebrate this holy sacrament of communion now together. You can come up row by row. Uh, if you're on my left, if you'll start at the back here and gather around the altar on this side towards the middle. Uh, and if you're on my right, if you'll come up and start in the middle and gather around this side of the altar. Uh, I'll come first with the bread. If you'd rather have a gluten-free wafer, just let me know. We have those available. Uh, and then Jan will come with the wine. If you'd rather have grape juice instead of wine, just simply raise your index finger like this to let us know. And if you want to come forward for a blessing instead of partaking in the meal, uh, just cross your arms like this and I'll say a blessing for you. But this is Christ's table and all are welcome here.
Please stand as you're able for these final blessings. Now may the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ strengthen you and keep you in God's grace. Amen. Let us pray. We give you thanks, most gracious God, that you have fed us with the bread of heaven and given us a foretaste of paradise. Enliven us to be your body in the world and to serve those who are in need. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. May the God of peace, who creates all things and calls them good, who makes us alive in Jesus, and who breathes on us the spirit of hope, bless you now and forever. Amen. Amen.